You have just poured half a life's work, toil and strife in the amateurs and the professional game into the most unbelievably perfect moment on the night that it mattered the most. What does it feel like? It feels amazing. Obviously, the support I had here tonight is just unbelievable. And obviously, first of all, I want to thank God. Without this, nothing, nothing would be possible. Um, so yeah, my, I, listen, we, me and Boati were speaking beforehand, and um, he was telling me, listen, God's with you every step of the way. And I got Isaiah 41, 2, uh, 41 10 on my back, the scripture, and um, he just kept reminding me that he'll strengthen me with his righteous right hand, and yeah, that's just all I kept thinking about going, uh, coming to the ring. And um, yeah, I just want to thank everyone that come out tonight. Obviously, like you said, it's a half of a lifetime um, of work gone into one, one, well, it would have been 36 minutes, but it's gone into, what, five and a half minutes of, of, of work tonight. And um, I'm, just, I'm just thankful, amazing. Obviously, you've got Tony, who's uh, put all the hard work um, and put me through, all of my, through my paces through this camp. And um, yeah, also Kevin, I don't know where Kevin's gone. He's, I don't know, he's probably gone on a piss now. But, probably probably bought in the beers, yeah, I would have yeah. thought. He's, uh, He's, he's been helping me in the gym also, and I'm just, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm a bit speechless. I'm, I can't even remember what the question was. I think, I th I think we'll, we'll take you back to the early stages of the fight. It was twitchy, it was nervy, as to be expected. He caught you with a left hook in round one. Did he get your attention with that, and how did you feel you were settling into the fight? No, it, it, don't get me wrong, you, you get caught with shots early on in, um, in fights. Whether they're punches or not, he's, he's down as a puncher on paper, and... Um, yeah, I could feel it, but it wasn't nothing I've never felt before. Like I've said previously, I've, I've been sparring big punches in this, in this camp. Um, the likes, I could reel them off, there's loads of them, but I've been in with the likes of Conor Ben, who's probably the, the most explosive puncher in the, in, in the world at the present moment. And I've sparred with him, so comparison to punch power, he's, he don't even compare. So for me, it's, it, when, he, when he caught me, I thought, okay, okay, yeah, he caught, got my attention, but it was nothing I've never felt before. But yeah, I just, me and Tony been working hard in the gym and practicing certain things. And when he was twitchy early on, we knew that's what he was going to come out to do. Line me up with a backhand, twitching, fainting, and trying to just literally get me with a backhand. So I just knew to keep stepping to my rights, and that's what I did. And the punch that you landed, that switched the lights out, a major world champion, maybe the best punch you'll ever throw in your career. You call that the Roberto Duran, I believe, don't you? Yeah, we call it the Roberto Duran. Um, we've been working on it all camp, all camp. And, um, yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling when you put hours and hours and hours and hours of work into a certain combination or a punch, and then you put it in a fight. You don't even think about it, and it comes off, and then lights out, it's, it's over.